Hello, my name is Ardi, and this is the fourth video in the Circuit Analysis Explainer series. So, in this video, I'm gonna explain about Superloop, or some book call it Supermass. But first, let's review what we know from doing loop analysis. So, there are three steps in doing loop analysis. The first one will be label all the loops and assume their direction, and then applying KVL to all the loops, and then the last one will be do the dirty math. Okay, so let's do the first step. I want to label this loop first. So let's make a loop here and name this loop as I1. And here is loop 2. So let's name this I2. So our goal will be finding I1 and I2, the current loop of I1 and the current loop of I2, right? Okay, now let's move on to the second step, which is applying KVL to each loop. Let's do at loop 1. Remember what KVL said? KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to 0. Okay, we start from this voltage source, and the current is flowing from negative to positive, so the sign will be negative. And the value will be 20, then plus. The only current that passed through this 6 ohm resistor is this I1. So I will have 6 I1. And then the current that passed through this 2 ohm resistor is I1, but I2 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I will have plus 2 I1 minus I2. Okay, now let's move on to the next component. However, this is a current source, but we need to know the voltage across this component. And we have no way to know the voltage across this component, right? So, yeah, that is a problem. So, yeah, this is a problem. And all of this will equal to zero. So, we need to figure out how to deal with this one, right? How? And the same thing happens in the loop 2. So, if we do KVL analysis on loop 2, we will have 10 I2 plus for I2 for this and then for the current source we cannot know the voltage of it right and we still have to uh, calculate that which is 2 I2 but I1 is flowing to the opposite direction okay now we need to find out how to solve these two problems. So the, the main problem that we face is that we have a current source between the loop. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, now I have cleaned up our previous calculation. So the thing that we need to do is we make super loop. So similar to super node, uh, we merge the two loops into one very big loop. Okay, let's do that. So the super loop has to be the same direction as the loop inside it. So I will have this super loop here. Let's name that blue large loop there as super loop okay if we see here this super loop does not pass through this uh, current source so we do not need to worry about the voltage here so let's do KVL at super loop KVL at super loop Okay, KVL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal 
to zero and let's start from this 20 volt voltage source okay the current is flowing from negative to positive so i will have minus sign and the value will be 20 and then plus the voltage across this 6 ohm resistor will be 6 multiplied by the current however we do not multiply by the current of the super loop but this current individually so i will have i1 there and then the voltage across this 10 ohm resistor will be 10 multiplied by not the current of super loop but the current individual current here which is i2 and for this one is also similar so i will have 4 i2 and we have calculate all the component in this super loop 1 2 3 4 and i have 1 2 3 4 yeah and all of this will equal to zero okay now we can simplify this equation and i will have 6 i1 plus 14 i2 and that will equal to 20 and we can divide both sides by 2 so i will have 3 i1 plus 7 i2 that will equal to 10 yeah we cannot do anything more than this so let's have this as equation okay so now we have two variables but only one equation we need one more equation so which equation can we do okay take a look at this note here okay, this note and let's name this node as node A maybe yeah. and if we see here the current that goes through this line here that will be 6 ampere because this is a current source and then the current that pass through this line here this this will be the same as the loop current because the loop current here the only thing that I mean this will be the same as this loop current, yeah, I2. And then this one here, this loop current is also the same as the loop that pass through this line here, these cables. So this is I1, okay? So now we can apply KCL at not A. I'll have KCL at not A. So KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out and the current that goes in will be I2 and all the other currents is going out so I will have 6 ampere here plus one I1 here so we can move this i1 to the left hand side and we will have minus minus i1 plus i2 that equal to 6 and let's set this as equation number 2 okay so now we have two equation with two variables we can solve this using substitution and elimination so i will copy this equation into next slide okay this is the two equation so now i want to do elimination let's multiply the first equation by one and the second equation by three why because i want to eliminate this i1 so i will have three i1 plus seven i2 that will equal to ten and for this part here, I will have minus 3i1 plus 3i2. And that will equal to 18. So now let's add them up. So this 3i1 and minus 3i1 will cancel each other. And for this one, I will have 10i2. And this one will be 28. 
8. So I will have I2 will be 2.8 ampere. And when I2 is 2.8 ampere, we can calculate I1 because we have this equation minus I1 plus 2.8 is equal to 6 or I1 is just 2.8 minus 6. Okay, 2.8 minus 6, that will be minus, minus what, minus 4, I think, yeah, some, thing that, I don't want to make a mistake, oh, so I will have minus 3.2 ampere, so I1 will be minus 3.2 ampere. And this is the current that is from the loop in the circuit here. So this is I1 and this is I2. So hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.